Welcome everybody to a brand new video where I'm going to be doing a player review on Julian Alvarez. SBC just released last night, or sorry, yesterday. Uh, I barely crafted him last night. So I, I was like, you know what, I'm going to do the video today. So I did a bunch of player picks last night, ended up getting enough fodder to craft him. I think this card is really, really good. I've always liked Julian Alvarez in this game. Um, I know there's one card out there. Um, I don't know if it's a glitched Evo or not, but I know there's a foot birthday Evo with like 99 shooting, 5-star, five 5-star, five finesse shot plus. It looks really, really good. So if you have that SPC, I feel like you should keep that one or that Evolution, sorry. I feel like that one might be more worth it just because one is 5-5, five five, so he's already better. He has 99 shooting. He has he has a finesse shot plus, which is better than these play styles. And I don't think he has just finesse shot plus. I'm pretty sure he has another one or two different playstyle pluses, and his stats are pretty much almost the same. Um, so if you guys have that foot birthday one, if you guys did it, that that one, I would say keep the evil one. Don't even worry about this one. In my opinion, five star, five star is always going to be better, um, especially with a card that has boosted stats. So that's if you have that one. If you guys don't, if you guys like Julian Alvarez, if you're a Manchester City fan, if you're you know Argentina fan, won the World Cup, whatever it is, you just like Julian Alvarez and you completed him, or if you're thinking about completing him, I think I'm going to do the player review today and go over his card and see if you guys really want to buy him or craft him, sorry, um, if it's worth it for you guys. Because he is coming in at, I think, 400,000 coins of, of worth of fodder, which isn't that much right now because of, you know, Team of the Seasons, Foot Champs Rewards, all this kind of stuff. You guys get 90 rated cards so easy, so fast. And the market's so low right now. But anyways, enough about that. He can play striker, center forward, right wing, chip shot plus, finesse shot plus, first touch plus, five foot seven, high, high work rates, four star, five star. Um... His stats are very, very good. Shooting is, I mean, pretty much maxed out. The, the pace is really good as well. Dribbling is really, really nice on him. 97 agility and balance on someone who's 5'7 is really, really good. 94 ball control with 92 dribbling is also really good. As a striker, he's really good passing. Um, 88 short, 86 uh, long. He has 90 vision, so pretty good for a, a striker. Physicals, 81 strength, 90 stamina, 91 dribbling, 97 aggression. So he's going to be very good. Um, when it comes to like pressing pressing center backs and that kind of thing, I think he's going to be really good. He does have three play styles when it comes to passing, which is kind of crazy for Julian. I mean, it makes sense because he did, you know, he's a right winger. But I wish he had technical and quick step. I, that's the only two things I wish he did have. Other than that, I think his play styles are really, really good. I don't really need stam or Renetless because he has 90 stam. Um, I've been I've been trying to tell myself in game to make substitutions. So I got to tell myself that every single time I play. He does have three play, style plus, three play styles when it comes to shooting. Two of them are being play style pluses. I don't like chip shot. Um, really wish it was finesse shot. That would have been really, really cool. But maybe in the future, there'll be a card that has finesse shot plus and power shot plus. If there isn't already, I actually don't even really know. I want to see you guys over to Footbin now. He's coming in at 400,000 coins as the, as the SBC here. And I think the best chem style for him is going to be a Hunter. If it's not Hunter, it might be like a Marksman. Um... Marksman is pretty good because the shooting goes up, the dribbling goes up, as well as the strength. I like Hawk. Is I like wow, Hawk might be the one. 99 aggression, 85 strength, 99 jumping. I mean, jumping doesn't matter. I really want the top near top tier pace and shooting. Um, so it might just be a, a hunter. It could be a finisher. No, maybe an engine. 95. Nah, we're gonna throw a hunter. I think hunter chem style get him max pace. I think that's gonna be the best option for him. I'd say hunter if you play him as a right winger, maybe an engine. Um, I can see why you play my right wing. A lot of people have a lot of good strikers now, especially that Drogba, who's really good, really cheap. Um, but yeah, Julian Alvarez, I think he's gonna be really good. I'm putting Henry Kemp style on him now. Um, I want to get into a gameplay right with him right now, really quick, because I have a ton of games to play this weekend for champs. I want I'm playing champs on two different accounts this weekend. Um, I was really busy earlier today, so don't have that much time to play. But I'm ex I'm I'm happy I'm happy that they did extend champs to what is it Tuesday morning or something like that i actually don't know when it ends um but i need to get these games done i need to get qualified on my other account a lot of grinding to do a lot of player reviews on the way um odegaard sbc mccabe sbc uh who else did i just complete or i'm gonna complete Havertz. i'm not gonna do a player review on him just because he's already kind of uh, i feel like it's a little too late maybe i will drop one i don't know um if you guys really are interested in seeing that that one let me know in the comments down below um but yeah i want to just try to get in some I'm going to play, I think, one or two games with Julian Alvarez. See if I get some highlights and stuff like that. Show you guys some of the better goals I scored with him. Oh. See, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do uh, some skill moves and stuff too, which I, which is why I think that foot birthday Evo version is going to be really, really good because 5-5 five, five is really fun. 
I wish he did have five star skills, but he doesn't, unfortunately. Hold on, let me. Oh. That was top bins right there. I know a green time did, but that was a really good finish. Hopefully they show me from this angle. Nah, they're not gonna show me the right angle. But that's top that's top bins right there. That was a beautiful shot. I'm telling you that I love I love strikers with really good shooting, composure, finishing. I love those strikers. Drogba, uh Rooney, like those kind of cards. I love the ones that can shoot so freaking strong and powerful. And as long as you can locate it, if you can green time it even better, because you're just gonna increase your chances of the scoring. Um, but yeah, I, I'm actually, I mean, his first goal, his first game has only been 10 minutes and he's already got a goal. So Oh, I had him skipping. I had him sliding. Julian Alvarez. Beautiful. I'm telling you, get them with the power shot. Plus I love faking it. It's so good to fake it. If you guys don't know how to fake it, just do the power shot. And then, you know, you can fake shot out of it or you can ball roll or do any other skill move. It cancels it. Um, it's a really good. I think it's really effective with power shot pluses because everyone thinks you're gonna take that shot. I do it so much with that Timo Werner SBC, like this guy has. I'm assuming it was. Um, it's really, really effective. A lot of people are scared that you're gonna shoot, and then you, they commit too much, and you can get fouled in the box and, and get a penalty. It happens to me a lot. A lot of people try to slide and block it, and you end up getting a pen. So that's a little tip for you guys that have power shot plus players. And Julian Alvarez gets an assist to my idol Ronaldinho in the first game guys Julian Alvarez was involved in all three goals. He made someone rage quit Two power wait what one no way no power shot goals one one of them was a fake and then the other one was a finesse shot near post green timed and then he gets an assist to Dino so game one Looking like he's really really good so far, but let's get into another game Hopefully it's a little bit longer of a gameplay um, On this side if not we'll make it a shorter video, but I want to get this out I have another video to complete as well for another player review. So I'm trying to knock these out as, as fast as I can because there's a lot of cards in this team this season. I want to go ahead and buy some cards as well because I have a million coins on this account. I want to get some of the lower tier or mid tier kind of uh, worth of coins. That 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 Garnacho card, I'm not going to lie. He looks pretty fun. I might have to try him out. Um, what's this guy? Is that going to quit? What's going on here? I don't know. But we're going to get into another gameplay. Hopefully, I get some more goals. And then if, if not, I'll see you guys at the end of the video. But um, let me go ahead and try to cook with Julian Alvarez. Okay, he gave me the free win, I think. Is that what he's doing? I don't know what he's doing. He is. Okay, I'll take it. Free win. It helps me out for the qualifiers. I'm going to get into another game. So I'll show you guys in, when I start the next game. David Beckham. Now Beckham. Lorenzi. It might be. Oh. I don't know. I don't know what it is about Julian Alvarez's card, or what he, what it is about what a stat that he has. But his bend on the finesse shots are crazy. His curve is insane. Like I don't know how, but he just gets that whip around it, like powerful whip on it. It's it's so good, honestly. Like I love this this type of card. I can. I'm telling you, the finishing, a card that can finish like this, I need, especially in champs, man. You need a consistent sh score right there. Like can just have that power. You can just shoot, and you know it's gonna go in. Oh, I think that was an assist from Julian Alvarez. Is that another assist from my guy? I'm not going to lie. I, have, I haven't played Julian Alvarez at right wing. Maybe I should try that. But at striker, he's just good. at. I don't know if it's a formation or what, but he's just so... He's in the right positions to pass as well. And he has three play styles that can, that, for passing. And him at striker, that's a really good position. Um, I don't really care about passing when it comes to my striker, but the fact that Julian Alvarez is able to pass is such an added bonus to his card. Um, so I like that a lot from him. That's another, another, another bonus point. Oh, the bad, very bad shot. <laughs> Julian Alvarez doesn't even have to score for him to be good. He can do all that just to get an assist. That's why I love this card, man. Nah, I, I like this card so much. I just wish he had five star skill moves. It would he would be so much more fun. And I gotta I gotta take away some points, right? I gotta give a little bit of a knock to him having only four star skill moves, and a knock to him only having um 
uh or sorry not only but he has chip shot plus as a trait as a play style plus like that's come on like ea really just give him the regular one give him finesse shot plus or give him like i don't know some anything out other than that and i think i am uh he would have been even better of a card so that's one thing i wish for sure all right game number three done technically game number two like i said the last guy he gave us a free win so i'll take it from him thank you very much for you kind sir but Dino got four goals. Wow. I did not even know that. Um, two of them, I think, were an assist from Julian Alvarez. If not all of them, I'm not even sure. We're about to find out. Um, but anyways, Julian Alvarez, guys, I think this is one of those cards that are... It's like Timo Werner where, and Rolfo where I think it's a must complete if you don't have that evil, like I said, with the foot birthday. Five-star, five-star, 99 shooting, financial plus. Okay, if, you, if you guys have that one, don't even try to... I'm Don't even... You know, you probably aren't even watching this video if you guys have that one. So, I personally wouldn't do if i had that card for example i would not do this spc if that makes any sense because five star five star is just so important that's why my rating for julian alvarez is going to be a nine out of ten i'm gonna take away 0.5 because he doesn't have five star skill moves and i'm gonna take away 0.5 because he has finesse or chip shot plus instead of finesse shot plus um he doesn't have technical or quick step and that's really it like other than that he has three passing play styles guys as a striker ping pass Long ball and incisive. He can throw ball to some wingers. Or if you play a two-striker formation, he can throw ball it to the other striker. He can ping the ball. If you play him at right wing, he can ping it into the striker. He can he can do a long ball across the pitch um, to the other winger or whatever it is. But this card, um, I really, really, really do enjoy. Um, with high, high work rates, he actually... It makes sense, right? That If he has high, high work rates and you put him as a striker, he might kind of drop back a little bit. So he has the passing play styles to you know pass out to the winger or if you tell you're the striker, depending on what formation you guys play. A lot of people play 4 3 2 1 with the you know center forward, so maybe that helps out with you guys. Um for me, like example, in game I play 4 3 2 1, just like pretty much like 90% of the community that plays this game plays it in that formation. And I think this card really helps out a lot to pass, move and go, quick build up. He feels really good on the ball. He has 97 agility and balance, really good dribbling. He's five foot seven, so he's a little smaller and he feels really, really agile on the ball. He's literally a, what, like an inch taller than Messi. He feels, he feels really good on the ball. That's all I got to say. Hunter is the one to go for him because he doesn't have a uh, quick step, but with the pace and acceleration being maxed out and the sprint, be sprint speed basically being maxed out, he feels so quick on the ball. So I'm going to give Julian Alvarez a 9 out of 10. I think, in my opinion, if you don't have the SBC or any other evil version of him, I feel like this is a must-complete SBC. Even if you have an evil version, maybe it's better. I don't know. Depends how good of an evil chain you guys combine for the your guys' Julian Alvarez. But I don't personally have one, and I really wanted to complete this card. And now, in my opinion, I have an endgame striker for right now until footies and that kind of thing. Maybe Euros, who knows? But I like this card a lot. I like Kola Mwani. I don't have Timo Werner on this account, so this is my new Timo Werner, I guess. Julian Alvarez is that guy. But Kola Mwani is also very, very good. Maybe the pairing of two of them together was, was going to be something I'd try out. Um, but for now, guys, I'm going to rate this Julian Alvarez 9 out of 10, like I said. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Um, yeah. I can't recommend him enough, honestly. He's really, really good. I'm going to use him this whole weekend of Foot Champs. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing that kind of stuff, follow me on twitch.tv slash midnight 80 Subscribe to me on Twi on YouTube as well. I'm gonna, on the road to 700 subscribers. We just hit 600, so I really appreciate everybody who has subscribed. But for now, guys, I'm out of here. Adios.